Nice to meet you. What 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 is uh, what has been the indoctrination been like, especially in this the, the month of preseason practice where everything is ramped up a little bit? Um, it's been pretty good, you know, just talking to older guys and uh, you know just trying to get myself going, you know, picking their brains about how like recovery wise because everything's ramping up, you know, just trying to pick their brains and pretty much make my own way how to make sure I'm pretty good day by day. Speaking of picking guys' brains, I mean, I would assume Justin Hill was probably one of the guys yeah. that's not the main guy. You kind mm -hmm. of yeah, kind definitely of between Justin Hill and Noah Thomas. Now, I know those guys a lot because we play the same position, and I'm with them a lot every day. So just mainly with those two guys, I talk to a lot. In what ways you guys started to really kind of deal with the court as the stars? And um, like definitely that? just uh, you know communicate. You know them being veteran guys. You know they show me things I can get better on. Sometimes showing them a little bit. <coughs> I, I, I play playing played in a lot of big time games. So you know, just picking their brains, you know, asking them how I might want to be a point guard this way or how I might communicate to a different guy this way. So just learning so much learning as much as I can from them. Silas, what do you feel like's been the biggest adjustment for you this preseason, just getting ready for your first year as a college basketball player? Um, I would say the biggest change for me has just been using my voice a lot, you know. I've always been been a communicator but being able to communicate on what I want players to do or my teammates to do or them asking me, taking constructive criticism, like that's pretty much been the biggest change for me so far. Going back to your recruitment, how hectic was that when you reopened your recruitment, trying to decide where you were going to go? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't even like thinking about that. <laughs> when I first did, it was hectic, you know, because it was so late. I was kind of worried about like finding the right spot, finding the right school. You know, there was so many phone calls, you know, it was pretty much a lot of long nights, you know, because I had to figure out where I wanted to go in so little time. but. I mean, I'm just blessed to be here, blessed Coach Mike White and everybody uh, believed in me, and i just blessed to be a Georgia Bulldog. What, what, what was it about Georgia that as you went through that you said this for a um, I just felt like when they came for my in-home visit, because like when I was doing visits, I wasn't really putting it out there. Like I kept everything close to the chest. So <laughs> nobody really knew they came. But I feel like when they came and like they wowed my family, like my mom cried because of how they laid everything out, my grandma, like, Everybody loved everything they did, and then when I came on my visit, you know, it was the cherry on top. What led you to want to look around at other places uh, back away from USC? Um, I just feel like a lot of people ch try to pin it on LeBron James, his son going there, but it, that never was the problem. Like, I knew he was going there for a long time, but I just feel like when their senior point guard said they were coming back, you know, it's kind of hard when he played like 30 plus minutes. So I feel like as a freshman, I wouldn't have the chance to fight for minutes because he's been there. It'll be his last year for sure. So I just felt like I had to do what was best for me at the time. Can you, re so uh, Coach White and Pastrana, obviously they're selling a vision to you because I mean, even at the time, Stegman's undergoing right. work, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, and they're new here and trying to get something going. What was it about the vision that you bought into? I'm um, just looking at their style of play, man. I feel like I fit in a lot, you know, had the chance. As they told me straight up as a, as a freshman, I have a chance to like get on the floor. So that. That drew me here a lot. I mean, I, and just the honesty, they've been with me the whole time throughout the whole process. So just honesty, honesty and being loyal to me. And then just like that family atmosphere I get. Like I love being with Coach White and Co Coach Pastrana and especially Coach Dean as well. What kind of experience was it for you to go on that Italy trip and get to know these this team and mm -hmm. just everything that came with that trip? Oh uh, man, that experience was great. It's my first time out of the country. So being in Italy, you know, I just look forward to Seeing how seeing how it was and then being with my teammates, you know, that was just a whole lot of fun. We were with each other every day, 24 hours out of the day. You know, I'm, I'm learning what people like to do, what people don't like to do. I'm learning who, who I really like to be around. That's what, not saying I like to be around people as much, but like who I'm with the most, like interacting with the bigs because, you know, they're doing a lot of the dirty things on the court, you know, rebounding, setting screens. But, I mean, for me, that trip was like, it was just a whole bunch of fun. I'm just glad I was able to be a part of it. As you look at this freshman class, the four of y'all, you know, what do you think the identity of y'all as a group is? Um, I think our identity is we're all different in each, in, each, in each way. You know, Blue brings shooting. Mari brings athleticism. He can shoot as well. Dylan, he's very versatile. He does a lot of different things. And I feel like myself, you know, I'm just a, a leader. So all of us are leaders, but I feel like us four bring something different. And I feel like it, that's what makes our freshman class pretty good. When you look at this roster and, and yourself being part of it, you know, what, what can you guys do, you think, to elevate this program? Uh, do you guys see something in practice that you think uh, you like the way the direction it's heading? Um, I definitely like the way that it could be anybody's day every day, any other day. 
Like last week, everybody had their day, like teams was winning. Like I feel like we have so many different rotations and lineups we can put out there. Like I feel like we'll definitely be able to make a change here. You guys were picked 12th, I think, at the SEC media thing. Did that immediately go up on the board somewhere? Or how's that received in the locker room? Um, I feel like in the locker room, we try not to pinpoint on what others think of us because, you know, we, we ain't here putting in the work every day. We don't we don't look at those rankings, you know. We just want to go out there and play hard, win as many games as we can, you know, and we want to do as best as we can, not what other people think we can do. When we talked to Justin last week, he credited you with – when you're out there on the floor, knowing when to shoot, knowing when to pass, what kind of adjustment has that taken to understand, you know, what comes with that role and, and being able to, to facilitate and, and get other guys involved? Um, that, that adjustment, you know, I, w- I would say during the summer, I was struggling a little bit with it. Cause you know, at times I would turn down shots, you know, I would be unsure, but I feel like I just credit Justin to pretty much just being in my ear, telling me to take those shots or do that there. And then I feel like just being in the gym every day has helped me with that as well. You talk about that adjustment from high school to college. You know, how excited are you to get out there and be playing here in, you know, a week in, in for an exhibition, two weeks for an actual game? Mm-hmm. I can't wait. You know, I'm excited. You know, I'm getting anxious every day. You know, counting down the days. Like, I just can't wait. We talked to uh, Sonny a few minutes ago. What, what's been your impressions of him and how he's gotten adjusted to this team? Oh man, Sonny is a teammate you like to have on your team, but hate to play against. Cause like, he's gonna do any and everything for the team. He's gonna make a whole bunch of winning plays. Like I just, Sonny's just one of those guys you love to be around as well. What do you think you do best from a basketball court? Um, I just think being a leader, you know, I try not to pinpoint doing one thing. I try to do a little bit of everything. You know, I always want to be able to lead. And I feel like if I lead, my teammates will follow me. So I feel like that's the best thing I can do at times. Any other questions from Mr. Salas? All right.